Okay, this is going to be a short, uh, relatively short example video of what I want you guys to complete for Unit 7. Uh, so in this, in uh, Unit 7, we're going to be using GIS to capture uh, riparian zones on a, on a potential farm or ranch. In this case, it's a ranch with some pastures that we're going to look at. Um, and so it's just kind of a make-believe exercise, but uh, the way you need to think of this is this particular, these pastures or this ranch um, are, are for sale and, and as part of seeing uh, <coughs> um, uh, you know, the value of this ranch, we, we need to digitize the riparian zones. And to do this, we're going to use infrared photos. Um, I'm going to show you a website where you can get infrared photos and, and, and we're going to show you how to capture the riparian areas uh, inside these particular pastures. Um, <clears throat> so to get going here, uh, I have opened up uh, Arc, ArcGIS Pro. So this is a brand new uh, project that I opened up. Um, and the first thing I'm going to show you how to do is to load in some infrared photos for Wyoming. OK, um, and just just to show you how to do this infrared, there's a there's a GIS laboratory at the University of Wyoming called YGISC. Um, Wyoming uh, Geographic Information Science Center. And so I'm just going to open up a, a, a Google. A, 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 trying to say here a Google Chrome window to get on the internet and I'm going to type in YGISC and you can see I've already done this before once imagery server okay so YGISC imagery server and I'm going to click on this first link here that says GeoHub imagery and again this is a website where you can download um, aerial photography for the entire state of Wyoming Okay, so uh, here's the website. We can close out of this little uh, introduction screen they have here. And we're going to uh, zoom in uh, and, and feel free to browse around this website when you have a chance. You can zoom in to anywhere in the state. Um, particularly, we're going to zoom in on Natrona County here, in Ca here near Casper. Um, and we are going to, so as you look at this map, it just shows the county boundaries, okay? Uh, but over here on the right, I'm going to turn on what, what they call these 24K quad boundaries. So as you can see, when I do that, there's these little squares all across the state of Wyoming. Each of these squares represents an aerial photo that has been taken uh, by an airplane, and this, this uh, GIS laboratory called YGISC down in the University of Wyoming stores all of these photos. Okay. Now, as we zoom in on Natrona County and as we keep going here, you're going to see that each of these squares has a name. Okay. And the name comes from whatever the dominant feature is, whether it's natural or man made inside this square. Uh, but the square that we are going to look at here is called Stinking Water Creek. Okay, it's located in western Natrona County. All right. Um, and as we zoom in farther on this square or quad is what they call it, uh, you can click on any of these quads, and I'll go ahead and just click on, on the Sinking Water Creek quad. But notice uh, the kind of the neat thing that you can do here. You can download photos uh, for all of these years for all of these squares on the map. Okay, so you can download photos clear back from 1994. And the way you would do that is click on the tab for 94, click on Quadrangle, and as you can see here, it's, it starts to download here. And it's a zip file. And you can, that goes to your download folder. You can unzip it and you can add it right into ArcGIS Pro. Okay, I'm not going to do that particular one right now, but just as an example, you can do that. We have photos, so 94, 2001, 6, 9, kind of every three years, all the way to 2017, 
okay? And then you can also download topo maps if you're interested in those, okay? So you can download each of these individual squares if you like, or <clears throat> notice when we click on these years, notice they have what's called an ArcGIS image server, okay? So the cool thing with this is, is you can copy this link and paste it right into ArcGIS Pro and you can, so in this example, you could uh, load in all of the 2009 photos for all of Wyoming, not just Stinking Water Creek, but all of Wyoming uh, for 2009, okay? Uh, what we're going to do for this particular exercise is we are going to download the 2001 photos. And the reason we're going to do 2001 is because they are color infrared photos, like it says over here, source 2001 color infrared, okay? So again, I'm going to click 2001 tab. I am going to highlight this uh, web address what they call an ArcGIS image service. So I'm going to highlight it. I'm going to right click on it and say copy link address. And I'm going to go into ArcGIS Pro. I'm going to hit the drop down arrow next to add data and I'm going to click on data from path. And I'm just going to hit control V on my keyboard and it pastes that um, that path or that image service in into this box here and I'm going to click add and sometimes this takes a little bit here and this didn't take very long sometimes the first time you do it it'll take a little bit but here now you can see this is the entire 2001 photos for all of Wyoming okay uh, you can see there's one little part that they didn't do up here uh, I guess that would be kind of the Wind Rivers, uh, the northwestern part of the Wind Rivers, but the entire state is now in color infrared photos, okay? Um, next thing I'm going to do is I, I gave you a shape file of this particular ranch that we're going to look at, okay? So you need to download that from Moodle. I've already done that and put the folder on my desktop, so I'm going to hit my Add Data button and I'm going to go to data and I'm going to go to my desktop double click the data folder and here's that shape file that I gave you in Moodle pasture boundary so I'm going to highlight that and click OK and it looks like it added it to my map uh, I'm going to click on the symbol over here and I'm going to make this so it doesn't have any color and it has an outline color of orange, and I'll make the outline with the two. Okay. And you can see here it is right here. Uh, but an easy way to zoom into this is we can just right click on pasture boundary and say zoom to layer. Okay. So there we are. Now notice as I zoom out here, let me turn off the topographic map. As I zoom out here, you can see where it is uh, relative to the entire state of Wyoming. It's right where Natrona County is. Okay. So these are the this is the ranch or the pastures that I want you to be concerned with. Now look at this photo. Hopefully you can see what what why this is a color infrared photo. Okay. Um, areas that have healthy green vegetation or vegetation that gets that has a lot of water is colored in bright red. Okay, any any plants that have high um, <clears throat> chlorophyll, right? Green plants have a lot of chlorophyll in them. In an infrared camera, chlorophyll comes out as bright red. All right. So as we zoom in here, notice obviously. Um, in the dry climate that Wyoming is, the bright red areas follow the streams, okay? So it's going to be your job to sort of digitize these areas, okay? Digitize these areas and come up with how many acres per pasture um, uh, it, of, well, let me re-say that. How many acres of riparian 
uh, area there are per each pasture. Okay, and if we open up the attribute table to the shape file, you can see there are uh, five pastures here. Old Pasture, South Casper Creek, Upper Crails, 40 acres, and Shipping Pasture. Okay, we need to figure out how many acres of riparian area are in each pasture. Uh, so let me just do a quick example here of what I want you to do. Okay, uh, let's say I want to find out how many um, acres of riparian area there are inside this pasture. And if I click on this pasture here, this is the pasture called 40 acres. Okay. Uh, why it's called 40 acres, I'm not sure because there's only 28 here. <laughs> uh, that's a little strange, but um, we're going to delineate or digitize the riparian area inside this pasture. Okay. First thing I need to do is create a polygon shape file. Okay. So I am going to go to View, Catalog Pane. I am going to right click inside this area. So again, View, Catalog Pane. I'm going to right click in the white area here. I'm going to build a new folder connection. So I clicked on Add Folder Connection. I'm going to highlight Desktop on the left, highlight Data on the right. So it made a connection to my data folder. Okay. And as you can see, there's that pasture boundary shape file. I'm going to right click. Okay, right click on, on the data folder and go to New Shapefile. So I'm creating a new shape file. I'm going to name it Riparian area. It's going to be a polygon. Notice you could you could make a point shape file, a line shape file. So that's what you're going to use to digitize all the roads in the ranch. So a line shape file. But for this we're going to do polygon. And the final thing you need to do is give it a coordinate system. And you want to give it the same coordinate system that the current map is in. Okay. So let's click run. All right, you can see it built that shape file right here. Okay. Uh, I'm going to change this shape file, the, the um, symbol of it. Again, I'm going to make it no color inside, but I'm going to give it an outline. Uh, I'll give it a yellow outline so I can really see it. Okay. Now I'm going to highlight riparian area. I'm going to go to edit, create, and I'm going to click on riparian area here and click on polygon tool. And I'm going to zoom in on this pasture and I'm going to digitize all of the red areas. And this is a little bit subjective. Again, each of you will have something a little different probably on what you think is bright red. But I'm going to digitize anything that I think is riparian. In other words, uh, bright red. Okay. Okay, so there's an area there. There's also some bright red areas up here. Okay. Um, you know, it's again, it's up to you if you think this is a riparian area. There are some red areas here that I think I will go ahead and digitize along this drainage right here. Okay, so there's the riparian areas for this pasture that is called 40 acres. Okay, now how do we calculate uh, acreages? We right click on this riparian area and we open the attribute table. Okay, so as you can see, there's three polygons here. As I highlight the line in the, in the attribute table, it highlights the polygon in the map. We're going to build an acres file. 
Okay. Actually, we're going to, sorry, we're not going to build a file. We're going to build an acres column. And we're also going to build a column called um, name. Okay. So uh, let's see here. Let's uh, save my edits up at the top. Okay. So once I save my edits, now I can add a field. Okay. So I'm going to call this field acres. And I'm going to make it uh, a type long is okay. That's fine. All right. And then I'm going to click here to add another field. And I'm going to call this, actually, I'm going to call it pasture. And I'm going to make it a text column. Okay. I'm going to save those, those changes up here at the top. Okay. And I'm going to close that. All right. So again, all of these riparian areas that we just uh, added in, these are for the pasture called 40 acres. So I'm going to type that in. And then to calculate acres, I'm going to right click on the column called acres. I'm going to go to calculate geometry. Okay. So again, input feature, riparian area, target field, acres. The property we want to calculate is area. Area unit, we want to do acres. And then we need to pick a coordinate system, which again is current map. And then we want to click run. And there you can see it calculated the number of acres for each of these polygons. So there's two, two acres for this one, one acre for that upper, upper piece, and one acre for the long skinny piece. Okay. So for the 40 acres, there's a total of two, three, four acres, four acres of riparian zone for the 40 acre pasture, okay? And then you just move on with each, you do the same thing for each of these pastures, calculating how many acres of riparian area there are for each of the pastures uh, in, in this ranch, okay? Um, and then you're also going to digitize the roads. So that'll be a line shapefile. I want you to digitize a line on top of all the roads that you see inside the ranch here, inside of all these pastures. Okay. So that's going to be the final map you're going to show. Your riparian areas along with the roads, with the pasture boundaries, on top of the color infrared photo. Okay. Uh, hopefully this video helps and makes sense. As usual, Make sure you call, text, or email, and, and I can help you uh, either over the phone or we can have a Zoom meeting if we need to to help you. So, again, hopefully this video was good, and I uh, look forward to seeing all your maps and your comments in the discussion for this unit. All right. Thanks, everyone.